21 each. Let's do it at the same time. Okay. Who's gonna get a rarer one? Or we're just gonna get bad things. Imagine you get the special pack, that'd be so fun. <laughs> that thing is so rare. Yeah. No, you didn't. Just got a normal. You, are, you already have this card. Yeah, I do. Party formed again. Oh, is this Asmodai? Asmodai is the goat. Is that not the special one, is there? No, but I, I like Asmodai, though. Mm. Demon Lord. Gagnar. Wait, let me see that guy. Gagnar. Gagnar? Mm. Traveling Mage Duo. Oh, this is a good card. Tetsuya and Asmodai. It's a common. Mm. But it's Tetsuya and Asmodai. Those are... In the anime, those those two are, like, pretty cool. Which one's Asmodai? He's the demon. Oh. And Tetsuya is, like, the little kid with, like, bananas his hair. <laughs> Vivian likes a... Dual Seeger. Oh, Dual Seeger is a good card, too. Let me see that. Mm. This one again. Queen Lada? Netman Yellow Module. I think right here. Netman Yellow Module. Is Battle that... Poet Shouting. His name is Shouting. <laughs> Battle poet shouting. Because he's a poet? I guess so. He shouts. Oh, I got a rare. This one double rare. But you got a double rare? You got Merchant of Darkness. Oh that's a that's a good guy. Jin. I got I got a rare, but it's Tetsuya, so it's okay. Oh. It's a Purgatory Demonic Swordsman and it's depressed Tetsuya. It's like when Iruma goes into you know you know, they know. If they know, they know. If they know. Spirit Hunter, Hunter, NG. Wow, that was so bad. Are you looking at the cameras? Yeah, why are we not? No, it's okay. Not, not welcome back. back. Hey guys, that was just one second, guys. You know, <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. It only took us one second. You don't even want to know. There you go. We're back for real. Time to go to bed. Let's go to bed, guys. Remember when you were going to bed? Lapsy on the bed, I shut my eyes. I remember. A bunch of things happened tonight. Some of it was shocking. <laughs> True. I would have sworn I was going to find myself awake for hours after shutting my eyes. But I must be exhausted. My consciousness quickly fades away. You know, that one hour part took us two and a half hours. <laughs> that was only supposed to be an hour? Yep. So what, we have two more? Yep. To do Kafia? Well, we were doing other things. We as a collective. Afternoon, <laughs> I go back. I go to the hospital to pick Ami up. The doctor explains the results to me, but despite clearly being in a weakened state, her brain infrequently exhibits theta waves. Wow, thank you, nurse. Obviously, I don't understand any of that. After I promise to bring her in for regular exams, the doctor finally releases her. Then, after paying Aunt Natsumi a quick visit, it somehow already becomes sunset. When we arrive at Kisoji, Ami badgers me into a huge shopping trip at the nearby supermarket. We stock up not only on food and candy, but also a change of clothes and toothbrush for Ami. I don't have much, uh, sorry, I'll just look at it. Much say, since she'll be staying with me for a while, and by the end, my arms are full. Big brother, want me to help carry grocery bag? Nah, I got it. Then I can take that paper bag. It looks pretty light. She's staring at the black paper bag I have. Apparently, Ui left at the hospital this morning when she went to visit Ami. It's everything that Aunt Natsumi had on her when she collapsed. The police had it submitted as evidence, uh, but they'd finished examining it all. According to Ui, she put the report in there too as a little gift to me. I told you I've got it on me. You gotta save your strength to get better. Yeah, okay. I'll let you handle it. Thanks. Is it shorter because Suzuki's not here? Ami and I walk side by side as, I don't know, we, we head to my apartment. We did the exact same thing just three weeks ago, but it feels like it's been an eternity since then. Yeah, big brother, whatever happened to that black postcard? Oh, that? <laughs> Remember Lubamit Kubule? Kubule. Oh, yeah, that was the Kerber's Kerber's invitation. Yep. I remember when I pressed that button. If I hadn't picked up that postcard back, postcard back then, 
Would my fate have changed? You know, there would still be an idol, there would still be a... <laughs> I don't really remember. To be honest, that postcard just vanished at some point. Maybe I ended up getting tossed with the rest of my junk mail. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It had a fun riddle. Just randomly bringing that one up. <laughs> we rest for a bit after getting home and I make a stir fry at Ami's request. It's not like it's especially fancy or anything, but Ami looks delighted as she eats it. After taking another little break, Ami says that she'll wash the dishes. Now that I remember, it was always Ami's job to do the dishes on days when I made the food. But she's still recovering, so I try to keep her from overexerting herself. But she just yells, it's my job! And what was the thing I say? In the end, I throw in the towel and let her do it. Crab keeps running and chasing after the stars. I can hear Ami start, start, start singing in the kitchen. She's having a good time washing the plates. She seems weirdly excited. But I guess that's better than her being all depressed over on now to me. Alright, what should I do in the meantime? Maybe I'll... Maybe you will look at this bag. There's a paper bag on my bed. Hunk has got Natsumi's clothes in person side. Oh right, the cops analyzed them. Ami said Ui included the report. Should I read it? Yes. Not now. As I'm looking through the bag, I immediately find a manila envelope. Inside are a number of official looking documents. The letters are so small that looking at them makes my head hurt, but I start to read it anyway. It has detailed descriptions and analyses on Aunt Natsumi's personal belongings and clothes. There's some sensitive info in there too, so it's a bit awkward. Would you just laugh? <laughs> Wait, bloodstained reaction? I quickly find the full sentence. Small bloodstain found on the lining of the skirt. Her leg must have been skinned when she fell. When she fell. Must be talking about when Aunt Natsumi fell after calling me. If I use my blood metry on that blood, I might be able to figure out what happened to her. I search the paper bag and take out her skirt. No, not in a weird way though. I turn it over and sure enough, there's a dark stain. I'm gonna touch this blood on her skirt. Not in a weird way though. I put my fingers on the small blood stain and focus. Whoa. Snakarnu, are you there? This must be from her viewpoint. She knocks on my door, but apparently I'm not there. I'm so snorry, Snakarnu. I'm so, so, so no snorry. <laughs> she takes out the copy of Kia. She takes out the copy of Kia I gave her. <laughs> opens the door and walks inside. That's two. Yeah, two strikes, uh, bus house. The mirror, the mirror. If Miroka's book is right, Ami's inside the mirror. If I join mirrors, I'm sure Ami will. Hello, this is D-Man. <laughs> huh, it's the corny. Hello, I, I just got it to you. Aunt Natsumi, listen to me. I found a black postcard on your desk. Where'd you find it? It was on the ground in front of the bar. I thought someone dropped it, so I picked it up just in case. Anyway, I, I need to tell you, Snakorni. I figured it out, I know. No, what? You don't mean the realm of the dead? Yes, exactly. It's in Miroku's Nagoshi no Gi, the realm of the dead. If what it says is true, Ami... Ami is... Inside the mirror. Mirror? I'm going to go save Ami. Um, nothing could ever go wrong. Hurry and join. Ah. What is this feeling? It's so hard to breathe. Die, 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 die. Die. No, what is this? It is me, Natsumi Binjade. Alas, I have fallen. As her consciousness fades, I can hear the sound of the bathroom door opening behind her. Is someone there? It's us, isn't it? Is someone behind me? But it's the bathroom door. 
Her consciousness dims as she turns around. You got a picture? Uh, me? Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, me. Is that fake Ami? Oh, is Kaguya Ami? Are we with fake Ami? We might be. I can't collect my thoughts. What? What's going on? Ami attacked Aunt Natsumi? Uh, Ami? Yeah, Ami. <laughs> Ami isn't here. Wh where is she? This is exactly like how they revealed Mary, by the way, in the first game. Really? Yeah. Ami, where, where'd you go? So how, how do they do that? Basically, like, like this. Oh, like you see a vision of Yeah, because Mary. Mary's like your your guide to oh. the game. Like, Welcome back, Lord Snake Bib, you know. Mm. Ami isn't here either. Where's my friend? <laughs> your friend, Ami. Yeah. She went back. <laughs> <laughs> Your I thought Ami. Ami was trapped in the bathroom mirror in the realm of the dead. And the day after Aunt Natsumi collapsed, that night I helped Ami out of the mirror. Yo, Ami, can you come out? Cause like we gotta, we gotta have dinner soon. Then why? Why was Ami outside before I saved her? Ami, why are you glowing when the oh, background God. behind you is dark? My brother. You saw, didn't you? What? Guess I've been found out. What's that mean? My throat is dry. My voice is hoarse and hardly manages to work. Oh well, I had no choice, you know. Mom was getting in the way. What are you saying? Oh, so she's real, Ami? She's just evil? Maybe. I mean, it's true. If Mom hadn't come here, then I could have stayed here in your apartment forever. I wanted to be alone with you. Just you and me, alone together. With you, forever and ever. Is she gonna transform? Mm. I think she's gonna do it. That's what Mary did. Mm. Sweat drips down my back. I can't move. Like, my whole body's frozen. They just announced the third one. And it's hard to breathe. Wait, they did? Let it go. They well, did? well they've, been, they've been working on it. Oh. Well, what, when will it release? You know, 2046, but... <laughs> Big bro, together, forever. Come with me. Survival escape. <laughs> Maybe I should use this plant. <laughs> well, that's exactly what happened to Mary. Oh. Wait. She's dead? What is she? Aren't you gonna say that? I love you so much. Bring back D-Man. <laughs> he, he's an actually friendly dead guy. A cold breeze brushes my cheek. I stagger back to my feet. Th that rhyme is ink. Wait, we see the other POV of this alley? Oh. Where am I? This place doesn't feel real. It feels like the screen is reversed somehow. <laughs> it seems vaguely familiar, but at the same time, it doesn't. What am I doing here? My head pounds when I try to remember. All my thoughts are fuzzy. It's almost like I'm dreaming. None of this feels real. What? I'm to go to a and <laughs> A whisper comes from somewhere. You wanna whisper? It's time for a tale. Once upon a time, there was a child named Kaguya who lived in the realm of the dead. Kaguya had a daddy. Kaguya loved her daddy so very much. Kaguya's friends were the tiny dolls her daddy gave her. Her previous daddy and the one for that, they all gave her tiny dolls. Those tiny dolls were Kaguya's best friends. So this is Miroku? Yeah. Or, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Miroku, yeah. right? Miroku, I guess, is one of her daddies. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? What should I do? What? Maybe I'll just remember. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll simply remember. My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. We can rest. No, here. that's not right. What should oh. I do? My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. I don't know why you didn't just choose look for Kavya, but what should I do? Look for Kavya. That's right, I have to look for her, for Kakuya. 
as if guided by an unknown force. I walk and walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. Wow. Ooh. The next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. It's definitely not in my room, but reversed. It feels familiar here, too. Can't you tell? It's not corny. I can hear a shower running behind the frosted glass door. Over the sound of water flowing, someone's singing. I should know that voice, but I can't remember who it is. Someone there? No. Hey, answer me. Wow. My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not. What I really should do is... Hey, answer me. No, I'm good. <laughs> That's right, big brother. You shouldn't talk to that girl. That has a girl flirts with all kinds of guys. She'll contaminate you. Kaku is much prettier. You hate that Hussy girl too, don't you? I hate her. I was gonna say, you know, Hazuki's dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're like four months late on the Hazuki death. <laughs> Which one do you want? I think we agree with her. Yeah, yeah, I hate her too. Exactly. Well, she disappeared anyway, so let's make her disappear again. You can do that? Hazuki in there? Oh, we just killed Hazuki again? You can kill Hazuki twice? <laughs> Wait, you actually can kill her twice? Wow, she really <laughs> brought her back and killed her again. Hazuki. Whoa, I wonder what would happen if I... No, I think she would have died either way. I've seen this place before. And I know her. The idol who helped me, Kaoru Hazuki. Oh, that is how she died, right? Yeah. And she just died again. <laughs> I've been here. I feel like she would have died either way. What in the world is going on? Kaki must be behind this. I know the translation team had a fun time with that one. <laughs> but what's she after? What? Oh, man. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. It wasn't long until Kakuya had a new daddy. Unlike any of the old daddies, the new one gave her a little girl doll. One doll followed by another and another still. And when Kakuya received her fourth doll, she was surprised. This time, the doll was a grown-up. The doll was the friends she made along the way? <laughs> Kaguya played with the grown-up doll. Grown-ups themselves became interesting. Kaguya want to play with her daddy who she loved. Her daddy said no, but Kaguya played with her daddy regardless. Then soon after, her daddy disappeared. Don't tell me I have to name this episode Daddy of Binjade. <laughs> <laughs> now you got What a voice. I can kind of tell it's talking about Kaguya, but other than that, I have no idea what it's saying. You know what, what I think it's saying? What? My head feels like a big empty void. <laughs> 